Hello, nerds. Thank you for joining me here on Nerd News Clips. This is the second channel. Uh, this is the place for all of the short form content as well as the individual sections and just generally speaking, smaller things. If you are into the longer form content, youtube.com slash generally nerdy is the place to go see that. With that out of the way, let's get into this. Comic books and books is roughly the same as it normally is. So let's just jump through this real quick. We have two regular pieces of news. No trailers, no follow-ups, no corrections. Uh, first up, we have Creep Show. We have a comic book anthology series starting up that's it was being it's being billed as based on the shutter series but i'm pretty sure and the shutter series obviously is uh based on the stephen king george a romero 1982 movie and then there was another movie before the shutter series happened either way they're they're billing it as being based on the shutter series and not i'm pretty sure the original 82 movie was based on a comic book series and I'm, I, for whatever reason, was having troubles verifying that, so please, somebody in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm fairly certain that's the situation. Uh, so yeah, it is going to feature Steve Langford, who's done uh, shorts for the anthology uh, vid visual video series. Uh, he worked on the Shutter series. It's also going to feature Paul Dini, who is, you know, kind of a god to millennials when it comes to comic book stuff, and a bunch more. Each book, it's going to be five books. Each book's going to be a different creative team. It's going to be pretty awesome. I think it's going to be worth a read. Uh, it is being published by Skybound Comics, so go check that one out when it launches. Uh, it should be out... Of course I didn't write down the date, but you can find it if you follow the link in the description. Anyway, next we're talking about Batman Incorporated. This time, though, it's not a Grant Morrison vehicle. DC is just bringing it back because reasons, because it was the last time that they had great Batman sales, I'm sure. Uh, this time is going to be helmed by Ed Brisson and John Timms. It's going to launch in October. This is going to feed into what's currently going on in comic books. Uh, the Batman, Robin, Deathstroke, Shadow War event that is going on that actually I think just ended a week ago. Uh, is going to feed directly into this. It's also dealing with when Bruce Wayne lost his money in the Joker War and Lex Luthor bought Wayne Corp. And so now Batman Incorporated is somehow owned by Lex. I don't know. I, I, I honestly have stopped reading Batman, so I have a lot to catch up to do on like the current issues. But sounds very interesting. Uh, also sounds like there's going to be some, some things that need to be corrected by Bruce once he gets back into power because the incorporated part of Batman is not doing things the way that Batman wants them to do it because, you know, death and guns and things. So yeah, super interesting. I'm very intrigued by this uh, resurgence, even though it's not Grant Morrison and I'm a big Grant Morrison fan, uh, still probably gonna be worth a read. So go check it out. That is what we have for the regular uh, comic books and books section. So let's comic book suggestions it up. Uh, lock and key is the suggestion for this episode. Start at book one, go all the way through. I think there's like 15 lock and 16 lock and key books, I think. All of them are worth a read. Just go for it because Joe Hill is kind of amazing and also very disturbed. But I mean, when your father's Stephen King, what do you expect? So yeah, uh, lock and key is our comic book suggestion for the week. Once again, this has been just a brief segment from the larger episode that has been posted over on the main channel, youtube.com slash generally nerdy. Go over there for the long form content or just subscribe here if you want it in bite sized chunks. Thank you very much for joining me, nerds. We'll see you in the next one. Before we go, though, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.